हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी होम ब्रू कोर्स आई होप यू आर लर्निंग अलॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन दिस कोर्स इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल एन एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग होम ब्रू सो बिफोर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड आई विल समराइज वॉट वी हैव कवर टिल नाउ इन दिस कोर्स सो वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज होम ब्रू वॉट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ होम ब्रू फॉर डेवलपर्स हाउ इट इज सेविंग अलॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड एफर्ट ऑफ डेवलपर्स and we have understood each and every homebrew terminologies you might come across in your career while using homebrew we have also understood the installation process for both types of applications whether it is a formula type of application or the cask type of applications so we have seen the practicals around that as well let's come back to our today's topic so to uninstall any application using homebrew we just need to remember only one command which is brew uninstall and that app name in case it is a cask type of application so we just need to add this option hyphen hyphen cask it is the same thing which we had done for the installation process as well so the command remains same brew uninstall and the app name and we just need to add this hyphen hyphen cask okay so in the previous video we had installed tree application and the firefox application so we will uninstall these applications and we will see what files will be removed from our system let's go to terminal now okay so if i go to the seller directory to see whether these applications are installed or not so cd opt then homebrew then seller if i do ls now so you can see tree folder is here so if i go inside this as well then the version number then if i do ls so all the files are present currently now let's go to the home directory first now if i run the uninstallation command brew uninstall then tree so it will uninstall the tree and let's see what happened to this particular folder or the files so i'll go to again the seller folder opt then homebrew then seller and if i do ls now so you can see the tree folder completely gone okay so let's see in the bin folder as well so let's clear the screen first if i go to cd opt homebrew then bin if i do ls now or rather i should do ls then grab tree so you can see tree is not present here now so it is removed also so the symlink was stored at this place and which is also deleted now so all the related files tree are removed now let's see for the firefox which is a cask type of application so let's see first in the applications folder so as you know the cask type of applications are installed in the applications folder we have seen this in the previous uh, videos so if i do ls inside the application so you can see firefox app is there so let's uninstall this application as also so brew cask then firefox it might take some time so now if i run again if i list down the files so you can see the firefox is also removed now so this is pretty straightforward to uninstall any application using homebrew let's get back to the slide so we have seen this we have uninstalled the tree package the folder of tree is removed let's uninstall one more application which i had installed the python uh, 3.10 version so i'll go to this location first uh, to see what files are present inside this so i'll go to opt homebrew then seller if i do ls so you can see python 3.10 we would like to uninstall so if i go to this folder 10 then ls so 
so this is the version if i go to this let me clear the screen first if i do ls now so you can see there is lib folder then bin folder all these things are present here and let's see in the symlinks also so opt homebrew then bin then if i do ls okay rather i should do ls then grab python so you can see this file is present uh, this is the directory currently so let's see for the library also so if i go to homebrew then library then if i do python so you can see this is also present here okay let's uninstall this brew uninstall then python okay so it is uninstalled now let's see now what are the files currently present and what are the files are deleted so i'll go to opt homebrew then seller let's do ls so you can see only 3.11 is here and 3.10 is deleted let's see for symlinks so let me clear the screen first then i'll go to opt then homebrew then bin to see the binary symlinks if i do ls now okay python so you can see the 3.10 is not present now let's see for library files also let's do the grab so as you can see the library file is present it is not deleted now so it means the binary files are deleted but the library files even for 3.12 version the library files are present it means brew does not delete the library files it just deletes the binary files so what's ahead in this course we will explore all the commands which homebrew supports in the next section of the course then we will understand the symbolic links in the context of homebrew in detail i'll bring up a dedicated video for this then we will see the different behavior of homebrew for intel and silicon based mac systems that's all for today's video if you have learned anything new in this video please consider subscribing this channel thank you all see you in the next video